非常的累的时候，我就会呢用弹这个吉他了。Love me tender, love me true, never let me go. Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Enjoy English School. I'm Bruce. I'm Anthony. Today, in our entertainment section for this month, entertainment. Everybody likes to have fun and to be entertained. Today, we'll be talking about a movie which is called A Quiet Place, Part Two. 没错，今天我们要讲的影视娱乐呢，就要介绍这部片《境界二》。老师刚刚很好笑哦，刚才看到我们这个 title 的时候，还说 Part Two， Where is Part One？ <笑><笑>我说没有没有，老师 ，It's a sequel。Sequel 就是这个电影的续集的意思。我记得当初在看这部片的第一集的时候呢，全场安安静静的，没有人敢吃爆米花。那至于它详细的原因的话呢，我相信各位你看过电影的人一定知道。我们来看看这个有趣的话题喽。Well, let's get busy now with the topic. A Quiet Place, starring and directed by John Krasinski, received great reviews when it was released in 2018. Notice we're using the verb release, and we use that verb when we talk about usually electronic things. So your software, your video games, movies. Uh, we use the verb "release." If we're talking about printed material like books and magazines, we use the verb "publish." P U B L I S H. P U B L I S H. Her book was published last year. 嗯，所以在这里的话，我们先了解一下，如果是提到出版的话，有可能会用到两个字汇。第一个字汇，如果是跟电子产品有关的出版，我们会使用 release。好 ，release 这个字，在这里的话，你就看到 when it was released， 好，被推出来了，出版了 in two two thousand eighteen。这里的话 ，release 多半是使用在电子相关产品，任何的那种游戏啦，电电电视的那种电影的作品、影视作品的话，都用 release。如果是书籍的话，我们会用 publish。publish 老师刚刚已经帮我们拼过了，所以整句话呢，我们来看一下 a quiet。A quiet place. You will notice that this place has a sentence. Right? Sentence means it may be a movie or a book. In this case, it is a movie. It is a movie. Starring and directed by John Krasinski. He will tell you that this director is also in it. We use the word starring. We often talk about a movie starring someone. We use starring to express who is the director. The director is the director. 然后呢，这个东西呢 ，received great reviews， 好，广受好评。这边的 great reviews 指的是大家看完之后的心得跟感想。所以很多时候你会提到 movie reviews， 好，这种就是大家评论评论啊，说哎，这个电影好好看，或是不好看，都叫做 movie reviews。然后当初它是在二零一八年的时候上市，好，给大家看，上映在这个戏院里头，大家看得到的。Krasinski and Emily Blunt, his real life wife. Played the parts of Lee and Evelyn Abbott. So we mentioned Krasinski already. He starred and directed in the movie. So did his wife, and she apparently keeps her original family name Blunt. The two of them are married. They're a married couple, and they are both in the movie. And their characters are Lee and Evelyn Abbott. Abbott is a family name. Lee can be a family name too, but also a man's name. And Evelyn is a woman's name. Okay, so here, I'll tell you more details. Krasinski and Emily Blunt. Okay, he tells you another person, Emily Blunt, his real-life wife. That in real life, this wife. Okay, real life. This place has a hyphen. Okay, it makes it into a adjective to describe the wife. Okay, this is one. Play the parts of Lee and Evelyn Abbott. He is in the film playing these two characters. In this film, A Quiet Place, the Abbotts, Lee and Evelyn Abbott, dwell on a farm where they try to keep their family safe. Dwell is just a fancy word for live, and、uh, they are farmers, or they are living on a farm, 
and they think uh, living in the country will keep their family safer than maybe in the city. Yeah, so in here he tells you, he says in this film, in the film, the Abbots. 好，在这里边要特别注意的 S 就是加上他们一家人的那种感觉，对不对？我们讲到 the Lin family or the Lins， 好，一样的道理，对不对？他说 dwell on the farm， 他们住在这个农村 ，where they try to keep their family safe。在这边的话，他们觉得说，哎，他们家人比较安全，好，这样子。他告诉你安全，那到底后面怎么回事呢？他下一句就告诉你喽。For reasons that are a mystery at first, as he just said. We're not sure why this is happening, so、mm. we can say it's a kind of mystery. It's a secret. The family lives in constant fear of making loud noises and being overheard by something. Hmm. hmm. So it's a mystery.、Uh, we're not sure what's going on, and we may feel uncomfortable about this because they try not to make any noise. 嗯，没错，在这里的话，这句话很有意思。他说 ，For reasons that are a mystery， 老师刚刚提到 mystery， it's like a secret。好，不知道是什么原因，很神秘的一件事情。At first， 刚开始是很神秘的一件事情，是成为他们住在这个乡村的原因。The family lives in constant fear。Constant 就是指经常的、不断的，他们常常都活在恐惧之中。In constant fear of making loud noises and being overheard。By something. <笑>好，所以这时候你可以想说，哦，好像很怕弄出很大的声音。我记得我在看这个部电影的时候，全场安安静静的，完全没有声音，然后连吃爆米花都觉得、啊、都很小心的那种感觉。你去看的时候，你会很有感觉说，哦，大家现场好安静哦。OK, let's、uh, take a quick break. Okay, let's take a look now at our second paragraph. Although technically it is a horror movie, the film also appealed to lovers of action and science fiction. Well, we're talking about different styles or types of movies.、Um, a horror movie. Horror means a great fear or even terror. T e r r o r. T E R R O R, a movie that tries to frighten you, scare you. The film also appealed to lovers of action, action movies, Arnold、mm-hmm. and、uh, Bruce Willis, and so on and so on. Movies that have fighting and shooting and so on. And、uh, science fiction is normally about things that aren't here now yet, or maybe never will be. But they're connected、uh, to a science topic. 嗯，没错，在这里面的话，我们看到好几种不同的这种电影类别，对不对？好，这句话讲说 ，although technically， 好，技术上来说呢，好 ，it is a horror movie。即便它会被归被归归类在恐怖片里头。老师刚刚提到 horror movie， 有提到相关的词，像 terror or horror， that means to。To terrify or horrify you, 好像吓吓你一跳的。The film also appealed to lovers. When you say something appeals to a group of people, 指的意思就是会吸引到，会让后面这群人喜欢某样东西。这个电影它也会喜欢啊，它会吸引到这些喜欢什么啊、uh, ，lovers of action and science fiction. 好，喜欢这种 action 动作片的，或者是 science fiction。有的时候你会听到 sci-fi。Sci-fi 就是 science fiction 的意思，指的是科幻片。当我老师在提到科幻片的时候，我想到那种 Star Wars， 可能星际大战，嗡嗡，光能剑，那种就是那种 sci-fi。好，我很喜欢那个类型。S C I hyphen F I， so science 的 S C I， and then a hyphen fiction 的 F I， and we speak it as sci-fi. Everybody knows what that means. All right. The、uh, next and final sentence of this paragraph. Unlike many modern monster films that shock viewers with blood and gore, so it's a horror movie. And here we're now calling it a monster movie. Which,、uh, if, if there is some animal or being that、uh, even a, a, a ghost that、uh, kills people or something like that, we can call these creatures. Monsters. A monster movie is almost the same thing as a horror movie, and those movies like to shock people, to frighten you, because、uh, there's a lot of blood, a lot of death, 
uh, gore, uh, where the blood comes from, mm -hmm. uh, if you cut a body, then we call that gore. Blood is from bleeding. Uh, the direction of a quiet place returned to the roots of the horror genre. Now, we've been talking about genres since this program started. It just means types or kinds or sorts of things, especially if it's in uh, writing or in movies, something like that. By steadily building tension, we get more and more excited and nervous as the movie goes on because we don't know, if it's a good movie, you don't know everything in the beginning. You have to find out and that makes us feel nervous as the story continues. So, and we say keeping the audience on the edge of their seats. Uh, instead of s sitting and lying back and feeling relaxed, you're like this mm. as you watch the movie. 没错，所以这句话里面有非常多的资讯，我们一样一样来哦。Unlike many modern monster films， 好，老师刚刚介绍介绍过 monster films 的感觉，对不对？里面有一个怪物啊，可能会去吃人啦，或是一个鬼啦等等的，这种都算是 monster films。它不像是一般传统这种这种吃人的鬼片啦，或是那种恐怖片。That shock viewers with blood and gore， 好 ，with blood and gore， 意思就是用那种血腥的场面，哇，大量的洒洒血浆啊，然很多人都死得很惨啊。那种那种画面很恐怖啊，很多时候你会使用 gory 这个字 ，g o r y gory 就是那个 gore， 然后加上去掉 e 变成 y， 就觉得哇场面好血腥哦。他不是用这种方式去吓这些 viewers 这些观众们。The direction of a quiet place 啊，这部片的这个这个这种方向这种走向风格呢 ，return to the roots of the horror genre。genre 这个字老师刚刚提过，就是 style 第。不同的这种形态的形态的这种电影，像我们刚刚提过什么 sci-fi， 有提过这个 action， 有提过 horror movie， 这些都是属于不同的 genre， 就是电影的种类。那它都回回归到最基础恐怖片的这种类型。Oh. By steadily build tension， 慢慢堆堆叠堆叠那种恐怖紧张的情绪。And keep the keeping the audience on the edge of their seats。老师刚刚也介绍说，哦，我们不会这样 sit back and relax。No， we don't <笑>。我们通常是往前坐，很害怕下一秒会发生什么事情，甚至有的时候还会看到很恐怖的事情，还会从椅子上跳起来。Keep the audience on the edge of their seats， 就是这种感觉。I thought of a good example of gore.、Mm. Shark movies. Shark movies. Ah,、oh, 就是那个那种 Jaws, right? <laughs> right. Oh, 那个大白鲨系列啦，那种就是这样。Okay, let's take another short break. Welcome back. Now let's take a look at the next paragraph, which is also the last paragraph. The sequel. A Quiet Place, Part Two. A Quiet Place is the name of the original movie, the first movie. They never call it Part One because they don't know if there will be a Part Two, Part Three, and so on. Now, sequel means following. Of course, if it's Part Two, it has to follow Part One, so it follows. It's still called A Quiet Place, but part of the official name now is Part Two. Is set for release this month on April twenty third, coming up. So,、uh, if you like to be frightened, and especially if you saw A Quiet Place, Part One, then you probably want to see this as well. Following the shocking events of the first film, so we're nervous,、uh, we're anxious, we were at the edge of our seats. The Abbots must continue to survive in their deserted world. If you desert something, you keep away from it. You leave it alone, and the sentence doesn't really help us. So I guess we're going to have to watch the movie.、Mm, that's true. So in this part, we first look at the first and the second sentence. This place, the sequel. Ah, this part is the sequel. We just mentioned this word, right? Sometimes you will see other words related to this word. This sequel, 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 this
Prequel 的话就是那种前传，尤其像是之前我们看过的《Lord of the Rings》。好的，《Lord of the Rings》它是那个魔戒嘛，它还有前传，很哈比人。好，它可能有些 Prequel、Sequel 这种字的话，在电影界里面都可以看得到，很很清楚的。他就说了，《境界二》这部片片子呢 ，is set for release。好，所以在这里的话 ，release 我们刚刚讲过了，这边的话是当名词使用 ，is set for re release 就是指预定要在这个时间要上映。This month on April twenty third. 好，所以这里告诉你说，哦，就哎，很快了。现在今天一号嘛，二十三号就要上映了，对不对？如果你像我一样，如果看过这个《境界一》的话，你一定会很期待的去看《境界二》。然后他告诉你说 ，Following the shocking events of the first film， 然后告诉你说，紧接着在第一部片里面的那些这种让人害怕的这些事实跟场景事件之后呢 ，When you say following, that means after. 但这边 following 的话，有点像是一个。像介词一样的感觉，好 ，following something。然后之后他讲说 ，the abbots must continue to survive in their deserted world。在这边讲的话 ，deserted 就是被抛弃的、被丢弃的这个世界，这个地方已经没人要住了，对不对？他们想尽办法 ，must continue 继续的 to survive in their deserted world， 在这个地方能够继续的生存下去。In the newest chapter, that's part two. Mm. Circumstances, the situation that they are living in, force the family to leave their home. They have to get out of their house. Don't ask me why. I haven't seen the movie yet. Okay, so in this part, the teacher just said, "In the newest chapter, is in the new chapter. It means this movie, the second movie, right? Circumstances. Talk about this word. Circumstances. Usually, when we use the word in the past tense, we usually use the plural form. We need the plural form. 会加上 s circumstances 来表达情情况形态。老师刚刚用了这个字 the situation。situation 也是指情况的意思。这个情况 situation 的拼法是 s i t u a t i o n。situation 好，就是情况的意思。在这边我们用 circumstances 加 s 指的是情况，情况情势迫使了他们这个家族 force the family to leave their home， 必须要远离他们的家园。Join them. Now you can't join them, but you can watch the movie and try to feel what they feel and experience what they experience.、Um, they face off as they face off against the monsters known as Death Angels. Now we know what we're talking about, but we don't know what they look like or exactly what they do. But in the movie, they are called Death. Angels, which is a little strange. Angel, we usually think of something or someone,、mm. a spirit that is good. But these are death angels, and they hunt by sound. That's why you have to be quiet. 嗯，没错，他现在告诉你说要小心了，对不对哈？为什么大家都会很很安静的看电影，不敢吃爆米花呢？是因为这个原因，他告诉你了。Join them， 好，请加入他们的行列，不是真的加入了，就是感受一下他们的所感受到的事情。Feel what they feel， 对不对？好，他说 ，As they face off against， 当你说 face off 的就是对抗、迎战某人 ，It's like a confrontation， 那种感觉好像是正面迎战那种感觉。Confrontation 的拼法是 C O N。F R O N T A T I O N confrontation. If you confront something, that means face them. 好，就是就是直接正面面对 against the monsters. 好，针对这些怪兽 known as 被被所被这个名字所熟知的被大家所熟知用这个名字，它叫 death angels 死亡死亡天使。而且呢，这死亡天使怎么样 ？That hunt. By sound, 它是听声辨位的。哎，你在那边，我听到了，它就咵、啊、过去把你吃掉。<笑> If you're up for a good scare, to be up for means to be ready to do something, and you want to do something. Don't miss out on. Go and see.、Uh, don't avoid the movie. Go to see the movie. A quiet place, part two. 没错，如果你决定好 ，if you're up for， 就是指准备好 ，if you're ready to have something a good scare， 那意思就是指你想好好的被吓一吓的话。Don't miss out on a quiet place part two. When you say don't miss out on something, usually it's don't miss out on the fun or miss out on an opportunity. It's something that you want.、Mm. Okay.、Uh, with the remaining time, we're now going to、I、have a little review for you, but this time not vocabulary, but something 
I think is uh, useful for you to know in grammar. If we go back to the second paragraph, we have, although technically it is a horror movie, now we can shorten that. Right now that is a clause, zi ji, mm -hmm. but we can take the it is out and just write, although technically a horror movie, mm -hmm. and then we start with what we're talking about, which is the film, and that's the movie we're talking about. Uh, in English grammar, we do this all the time. My father, a doctor, is very busy. Doctor is my father, and uh, we put the two together. It's not a clause. It's, it's a word or a phrase that connects two things and explains the, the second one explains the first one. 嗯，没错，在这个地方的话，在 although 后面这个子句，如果碰到主词跟动词，好，动词刚好是 be 动词的话，它可以整个这样一一起拿掉，保留后面的这个部分。那种感觉就很像老师刚刚所提到那种同位语的概念。My father a doctor， 他们讲的是他妈爸爸的身份跟他的职业这样的用法，是在英文中常常可以看得到的一个说法哦。Okay, that's it for today's program. Hope you had some fun with us. I can't wait for this movie, mm. but now I have to find part one. I have it. Don't worry about <laughs> oh, it. Oh, <laughs> good. Okay, until the next time. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. <laughs>《A Quiet Place》starring and directed by John Krasinski received great reviews when it was released in 2018. Krasinski and Emily Blunt, his real-life wife, played the parts of Lee and Evelyn Abbott. In this film, the Abbotts dwell on a farm where they try to keep their family safe. For reasons that are a mystery at first, the family lives in constant fear of making loud noises. And being overheard by something, although technically it is a horror movie, the film also appealed to lovers of action and science fiction. Unlike many modern monster films that shock viewers with blood and gore, the direction of *A Quiet Place* returned to the roots of the horror genre by steadily building tension and keeping the audience on the edge of their seats. The sequel. A Quiet Place Part Two is set for release this month on April 23rd. Following the shocking events of the first film, the Abbots must continue to survive in their deserted world. In the newest chapter, circumstances force the family to leave their home. Join them as they face off against the monsters known as Death Angels that hunt by sound. If you're up for a good scare. Don't miss out on a quiet place, part two.